क्वेश्चन इज सोल्व डो स्क्वायर जेड अपॉन डो एक्स स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू ए स्क्वायर जेड गिवन दैट एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो जेड इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड डो जेड बाय डो एक्स इज इक्वल टू ए साइन वाई सो वेन एक्स इज जीरो जेड विल बिकम जीरो वेन एक्स इज जीरो द सेकेंड कंडीशन विल अपला सो द गिवन पार्शल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन ऑफ होमोजीनस बिकॉज फंक्शन जेड एंड हियर ऑल्सो जेड इज देर सो सेम सेम फंक्शन विथ सेम वेरिएबल वी कैन कंसिडर एज अ होमोजीनियस सो टेक दिस ए स्क्वायर जेड इन साइड and uh, we know that this is a homogeneous differential equation by seeing that so we have z here also here also z no xy term so that's why it is a homogeneous so this can be written as in the ordinary differential equation form that is d square z upon dx square is equal to minus a square so simplify and uh, uh, get the auxiliary equation and from the auxiliary equation get the root root is what here plus or minus a that is d is equal to plus a and d is equal to minus a write the complementary function because here a, v, uh, a function of z means it will be zc is equal to c1 e raised to ax plus c2 e raised to minus ax so the solution of pd is nothing but z is equal to c1 e raised to ax plus c2 e raised to ax but you will have to replace c1 as f of y why f of y only because um, uh, this is uh, this partial differential equation is what here uh, with respect to x means we have to take opposite as y f of y we are considering this one and c2 is equal to g of y so in place of c1 you write f of y in place of c2 you write g of y and say it is a equation number 1 so here by using the conditions uh, we'll find the value of f of y and g of y and will replace it which is nothing but the required uh, equation of the given partial differential equation now applying the first condition when x is 0 z is 0 equation 1 becomes 0 is equal to that is the value of z here z is equal to replace z is 0 uh, f of y into e raised to x into 0 is the replace x is equal to 0 means e raised to 0 g of y into e raised to 0 so e raised to 0 is 1 so therefore it will become f of y and g of y so this equation i will rewrite is as uh, f of y plus g of y is equal to 0 and give equation number 2 now apply sec equation number uh, condition number 2 uh, x is equal to 0 do z upon do uh, x is equal to a times sin y but we know it is in the form of uh, equation z so we need to differentiate this equation number 1 with respect to x what here partially so it will become do z by do x is equal to f of y you keep as it is uh, differentiation of e raised to ax will become a times e raised to ax and uh, g of y is a constant differentiation of e raised to minus ax will become minus a times e raised to ax so which one i will rewrite it as here do z by do x is equal to a times f of y e raised to ax minus a times g of y into e raised to minus ax this is a partial differentiation of your equation number 1 with respect to x now you apply the value of do z by do x as a sin y is equal to a as it is f of y as it is replace x as 0 according to this so it will become e raised to 0 similarly a as it is here g of y as it is e raised to minus ax a x value is what is 0 so on simplification uh, from this you take a common so a a cancels f of y minus g of y is nothing but what is sin y so which is Going to be so equation two and equation three you have to solve by using simultaneous. So f of y plus g of y equal to zero is your equation number two, and f of y minus g of y is equal to sine y is equation number three. So on simplification, so g of y g of y cancels. f of y plus f of y is nothing but two times f of y is equal to zero plus sine y is what here sine y. On simplification, f of y is nothing but what here uh, sine y upon two. so you apply you replace this sign of y upon 2 in any one, equation 2 or equation 3 you will get the answer of g of y as minus times sin y upon 2 so this f of y of sin y by 2 plus and g of y of minus sin y upon 2 this values we got it so applying equation number 1 will get sin of Uh, sin y upon 2 into e raised to ax minus sin y upon 2 into e raised to minus ax see i want to simplify this uh, this z is equal to sin y upon 2 into e raised to ax minus sin y upon 2 e raised to minus ax so who is common here sin y upon 2 is a common sin y upon 2 is common so what left here inside e raised to ax minus e raised to minus ax 
or I can say that sin y as it is 2 you push for this e raised to ax minus e raised to minus ax upon 2. So this is nothing but a formula for what here sin y as it is this is formula for sin hyperbolic of x. So I have written uh, sorry a is the sin hyperbolic of ax. So this is nothing but the uh, uh, result of uh, the means sin hyperbolic of x in terms of exponent. So I had so that simplification I have written directly. Okay. So in this way, so this kind of examples so we are going to be solved for homogeneous and non-homogeneous. Uh, next, based on this, uh, we will go for the next concept in the next class as using a linear partial differential equations.